I had the most crazy weekend, y'all. I tell you what, just when you think life can't get any more uneasy, and here comes another wave of stress washing up on the shore of life. My daughter Chandra had been talking to some guy every night that she met at the gun and knife show, her second modeling gig, and she kept going on and on about this guy. She's like, Mama, he's so cool. He's got this Swiss Army knife, and it does magic, and he's got the most beautiful Burt Reynolds mustache. And I get a phone call from an old high school friend of mine now, and uh, just out of nowhere, he just calls me up on a payphone nonetheless. He uses a payphone anymore. He starts telling me about how much he and his gaudy van misses me. I can't even believe he still has that thing. And then he's going on and on about how this Longhorn gift certificate's not going to use itself. And I've been married for over 20 years, and everybody on base knows it. Now, if anybody from church saw me at some fancy restaurant like Longhorn Steakhouse with someone other than my husband, they're going to assume that I'm up to something, and I don't need any more drama at church. And I'm going to tell you right now, I never did anything with that gospel band. Now, I normally wouldn't hang out with old friends like that, but I thought, you know what? I bust my buns off every day at work. I'm going to treat myself to a girl's night out. I deserve it. So I left Bill at home. He was in his own little world with his Hot Pockets and Swamp Loggers marathon. And I go to meet up with this old friend of mine. And I pull in that big lot's parking lot, knock on that van door, and guess who's there? Chandra, we've been talking to the same guy. I was so upset. Thank God I have my chill pills. <laughs> so he says, uh, I know you're mad, uh, but, you know, just I don't want you driving while, you know, while you're all upset. So just come on in, have a glass of wine, and I'll explain everything. Well, fast forward two hours later, he's pouring more drinks. Me and Chandra are feeling a little buzz, and I start to feel tingly all over. And then I realize, lo and behold, our seats are vibrating. I thought, oh, my God, we've been trapped. But that was the best feeling trap I've ever been in, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> but then we get all high on some doobies, and then we drive around with some power lines or something. I don't know. It's, this whole thing's just so blurry to me. And, I, and I'll put my hand on the Bible for this, though. Uh, the whole way there, uh, there was an albino panther head staring at me and Chandra with flashing red eyes. So we all get out of the van, and here he is with another one of his brilliant ideas, y'all. He's talking about, uh, uh, let's line this mud hole up with some tiki torches, strip naked, and jump in there and become one with nature. Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. And then this little retarded boy wandered up and ended up driving off with his van. I had to call Bill to come pick us up and on the account that there being a big explosion off in the desert that scared Shindra half to death. And Bill wouldn't talk to me the entire ride home. I tell you what, I swear I feel like I'm living this whole gospel band ordeal all over again, y'all. And for the record, I didn't do anything with that gospel band.